pharmacology. It's more than a philosophy, more than a psychology, more than just an ecology, bigger than biology, larger than anthropology, brushes against astrology. That's prophecology. Praise the Lord, this is Master Prophet E. Bernard Jordan, your most trusted name in prophecy. And we're excited because we're in a podcast today that we wanted to share with you. And I'll tell you more about this as we get in the interview. But um, Jonathan, how are you doing today? I'm doing well, Master Prophet. How are you? I am well and well. I mean, you know, we're actually doing this on the last day of the year. So we're getting ready to see the last day of the year coming into the new year. So it's the last podcast of the year, but the first podcast to be shown in the new year. <laughs> wow. Talk about living in the future. <laughs> yeah, I'm leading for the future. And so we have a great man that he comes to the church. I met him some 20 something years ago. I want to maybe 25, I don't know, maybe he'll, he'll it's, let's see if he can tell us. And um, a lot has taken place in his life, but um, go ahead and read the, the bio of Jared Cordes. Jared Cordes, better known by his stage name of DJ Minute Mix. This hip hop art, artist is most famous as a founder of a popular 1990s music group called PM Dawn. His band's first two albums of the heart, of the soul, and of the cross, the Utopian Experience and the Bliss album became United States certified gold recordings. He released his first single with PM Dawn, Ode to a Forgetful Mind, in 1988. He and his brothers and musical collaborator Artrell Cordes were born and raised in Jersey City, New Jersey. Amen. Well, um, God bless you. Let's give the Lord a hand for Jared Cordes. Yes. <laughs> well, Jared, Indeed. let me ask you this. When was the first time you came to the church? I came in 04, just before 05 began. Wow. But 04, 04, 04, wow. And um, you were the one that also sang at Reverend Run's wedding, right? Yeah. Uh, it, it's God is good. That's all I have to say. Rev Run was a catalyst that asked us to come to Zoe Ministries and every it changed everything. It changed my whole life just singing at its wedding. Yes. You know, um, yeah, it was you and your brother there back in the day. So tell yeah. me, tell us, um, those that there are people that will be watching from around the world, what gave you your start in music? Well, it Music was around my whole household. My mom sang in a group. Um, my mom and my dad was in a group together, like a Peaches and Herb kind of thing. Music was everything to us. Um, it was just a natural progression to want to do music for ourselves. And it, it was weird because how we came about, it, it was really, it, everything came really fast. Everything from doing the demos to getting the record deal and being out on the charts happened literally just like that. God is good. Wow. And what year did your first album come out, or your first work record? The first album was released in 1991. And it's weird because 
the single that we had out. It's called Set Adrift on Memory Bliss. And it is stamped in world history as the world's first legitimate number one single ever. With um, Billboard introduced Nielsen Sounds and and it was the first record that there was no payola get the number one spot. It was just four spins and and sales. And we were we were on top of Michael Jackson when it came when when it came out. It it was amazing. My amazing. goodness, my goodness. Well, um, what song was it that y'all were really known for? We were really known for "Set Adrift on Memory Bliss," but "Set Adrift" was the catalyst to connect him Dawn with Eddie Murphy because he loved the song so much. He wanted us to work on on, a, on an album that he. So he called us. Um, we were in Paris promotion on the on the album, and he called. It's like, listen, I want to get you guys early before you guys get too famous. Don't want to work with me. Uh -huh. Come to my house. And we'll do something. So we went when we got back into the states. We went to Eddie's house. And he was just talking about life and what's going on, and he's like, you know, I'm in this movie. Boomerang is about this player that gets played, and it's like you guys have to write a song for. It. And he kept saying the whole time, in the studio, I don't know why I got you here, but I know it feels right. It's just you have to be here. And he told us about the movie, and he asked us to write a song. He said, "L.A. Reid and Babyface has the soundtrack locked down, but whatever song you give." I will make them put it on the soundtrack and 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 make them put it out at the same time. And he literally did that. You know, like, I didn't know that this song that he asked to write would become a song called I Die Without it, and that it would have the backing of L.A. and Baby, that machine that made TLC and Tony Braxton outcast all of that was behind us and eddie made that happen wow it, let's give that amazing. a hand let's give that a hand <laughs> so the um albums ended up on the soundtrack it ended up in a movie is that correct it the ended it, the crazy thing is when we sent the song to eddie and the and the whole Movie Squad listened to it. L.A. and ba Babyface listened to it. They decided they had to recut a scene in the movie so it can fit with the song. Mm. They built the scene around the song in the movie. They built the scene around the song in the movie. Yes. Give us a little bit of what that song sound like. All right. Is it my turn? To wish you were alive, yeah. I tend to dream you when I'm sleeping. Oh, yeah, yeah. Is it my turn? Fictionize my world. Even imagine your emotions. Tell myself anything. Just a little. All right, let's give that a hand. <laughs> my God. Jonathan, do you remember that song or was that before your time? Can I tell you, Boomerang is literally one of my favorite movies. Wow. So, and I, 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 Bishop, I know I shouldn't, I don't know if I should say this or not, but <laughs> I wanted to be Marcus Graham. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So, this song, <sighs> this is a pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Wow. Your pen is mighty. Mighty pen. <laughs> this is great. This is great. And so um, now that we are in this COVID age, and um, what are you working on now, or what do you foresee yourself doing for the future? Well, I have a song coming out in 2021 called Good Old Days. Um, 
and it's it's a it's a nod to my brother Prince B, who and partner in PM Dawn, who has passed on, and a nod to to all the matriarch patriarchs in my family who are gone. But it's more of a universal theme about I miss the good old days when I can pick up the phone and call them and laugh and and all that kind of stuff. But it's done in such a way that it doesn't seem like it it deals with with death, but it makes you, as an individual, think about your own personal um, loved ones when you listen to the song. That's the reaction that I get so far from everybody who's heard it. So it's it, it it it's really amazing when you follow the call that God has put on your life. And with me as a songwriter, I literally write songs with God. I God leads and I follow. And these great things just come out of come out of being a unit, one unit with God. You know, it's, it's amazing. Wow. What has the prophetic meant to you here on Zoe with the, the, the prophetic coaching that you come, may experience or the whole idea of the prophetic ministry? I'm going to tell you something. Eddie Murphy was the cattle. Right? Rev Run heard I Die Without had to, him and Justine made that decision. They're singing at my wedding. That brought me to you, Master Prophet. And it wow. changed it changed everything. Like there's so much to unpack, like but Eddie uh, legitimized us as songwriters to our own record company. Mm-hmm. You know, with that song Boomer with 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 the boomerang soundtrack, we actually took the finished product to our record company to see if they wanted to use it or anything before we hand it off to L.A. Reid and Babyface. And they was just like, uh, get that song out of here. You guys don't sing like that. And what happened was when the song hit number three on Billboard, I've never had, in my whole life, had so many apologies, flowers that filled up my whole foyer, the whole house, I'm sorry, you guys could sing on on every record from now on. As a matter of fact, Johnny Barbas was managing, but he still does manage El John. He was like, you guys are real songwriters, so I'm going to put you in the studio with El, which turned out to be a song called When I Think About Love that's actually on Elton John's duets album. So we cemented and legitimized by some of the greats. We found ourselves in the studio with the Bee Gees and with Philip Bailey from Earth, Wind & Fire mm. teaching us how to song write. And these are the things that I carry to the forefront with this new music and this new sound that God is bringing forth in the earth. So it's, it's amazing to see how it's touching people already. So I know when it gets released, I, I I have a great feeling about the possibilities. All right. Okay. A- anything else you would like to ask him, Jonathan, Minister Powell? Um, I wanted to know what are you doing now in like in the current studio? Are you working on what uh, projects and what can we look for in 2021? Well, there's a couple of major artists I'm writing for. And I'm keeping it hush hush right now. Okay. <laughs> Major artists too. Like it's insane. But on top of that, my new stuff is gonna be released and, and no one's really heard me as a solo artist because my brother Prince B was the in the forefront as the lead singer. So this is good, will be my first go around as the lead as the lead songwriter, as the producer, arranger, and everything. So I'm excited about that. Right. I am excited to hear about it. 
Amen. Or watch it on the uh, news and everything else. <laughs> yes. Well, that's yes. great. So, Master Prophet, I just want to say this too. The coaching, prophetic coaching, allowed me and my focus, just focused on one thing, get the songs right. The production got to be right. Every word has to be right. I was just focused there. But what you provided as a service to humanity, really, these prophetic coaching sessions with Prophet Gregory Clark, he allowed me to see in my blind spots everything that I was missing while I'm building my brand again. I'm rebranding myself. And he pointed so much out that when I got on call with him, it took me a minute. To, it took me about an hour to let it set in. And then I went and I apologized to my wife for not being on it and for being blind and not being able to see how I could have provided for my family sooner. The prophetic coaching allowed me to see everything that all the money that I was leaving on the table. Wow. And I can't thank you. Prophet. I, I thank you. And you know, that's what it does. The prophetic coaching will find your blind spots. And our wealth are hidden in the blind spots or the dark places of our lives. Um, Jared, yeah. if someone would like to get in touch with you or follow you, how can they follow and keep in touch with you? Well, I'm on Instagram. Uh, I'm on Facebook. Y'all can reach me at, at Jared Cordae at, on Facebook. You guys can also go to, on Facebook, PM Dawn Friends and Family, where we all gather together. All the guys who used to run the PM Dawn pages back in the days are connected to this page. And he brings up all these these shots of us. From, I, I, I saw a shot yesterday with, with us and Salt and Pepper, and I don't even remember taking it. <laughs> I'm in the picture. I know I was there, but it's it's it's, it's an amazing thing to be part of. So, Eternal PM Dawn, you can look me up, um, and uh, on Instagram, uh, Twitter, and you guys can hit me up on, on Facebook as Jared Cordes, um, and the PM Dawn Friends and Family page. You guys can catch us as well. All right. Well, we want to thank you so much, and thank you for being who you are. And um, we'll hear from you um, tonight on New Year's Eve service. Amen. Yes. Thank you for being who you are. Thank you for lending your gift, your voice to us. And thank you for the gift that you bring to the world with this uh, new sound of music. And we'll be praying for you as you step out as a solo artist. Now, your brother yeah. departed from Among Us when? He departed in 2016, in June. So it's, it's been, it's weird because I always ran to my big brother with production, like, what do you think? And how should we write the song? And how, you know, and once you don't have that, it's, I really had, I really had to find my own chops, you know, without anybody to lean on and really prove who I am as, as a songwriter and producer on my own. Wow. What is the lesson that you have learned about loss? The lesson that I've learned about loss is that they're never gone. Mm. My brother came to visit me when he passed every night for about a month. And he would try and share stuff with me because that was our agreement. If you can share some stuff from the other side, let me know. And he would come and he would hum melodies to me and song ideas. He would give me song ideas in my sleep. And I slept with my phone because I wake up and put that idea right, right down right away. 
So l loss does hurt because physically they're not here. But they are there for real mm -hmm. on the other side. And I didn't know it was like that until he passed. Wow. Yeah. Thank you for sharing with us. Thank you for being a part of us. And thank you for your gift to the world. Let's give thank the Lord a hand again for Jared Cordes. <laughs> and if you want more information, continue following us and following these podcasts. Until next time, remember, destiny is not left up to chance, but it is a matter of choice. God bless you. Peace. To keep in touch with Master Prophet E. Bernard Jordan, go to www.bishopjordan.com and follow him on all social media platforms. To get more information about the Prophetology Conference and or more special events, go to www.zoeministries.com or call 888-831-0434. Thank you and stay blessed.